Well, imagine you're in the middle of dinner eating some seafood, and then you bite into something worth more than the bill. That's what happened to one couple down in Cape May recently. So how does the story end? Here's Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed. <laughs> the Spresslers are back at the Lobster House, checking in with their waiter, Alberto. It's like a once-in-a-lifetime event. Last Sunday, Michael ordered his usual appetizer, a dozen clams on half shell. I was down to the 12th one, and when I picked it up with the fork, it looked kind of heavy, but I didn't think nothing of it. And then when I started to eat it, I'm... I noticed something was in my mouth. I actually thought one of my tooth broke. It was actually a pearl. He's eaten dozens and dozens of clams, and we've never found anything like that. So it was pretty exciting. Not only did something spectacular and rare happen on their impromptu trip, the couple was also celebrating something special. It was actually um, our anniversary of 34 years of coming here. For the very first time, so that yeah, even makes it more special. We first came here Presidents Day weekend in '87. Yeah. The popular restaurant is celebrating its centennial year. Not a bad gift for the Spresslers to walk away with. I have worked here for around 10 years now, and I've never heard of somebody finding one in one of our oysters or clam shells. A whopping 8.8 .8 millimeters. It could go for thousands of dollars, but money is no factor in this equation. I would like to have it set into a nice piece of jewelry, maybe with a mermaid or something nautical. Something for um, it's a beautiful remembrance of that day, and, and what we have is so special. Their story has inspired others. I've never eaten raw clams or oysters, but since somebody found something, I might have to give it a shot. <laughs> Reporting from Cape May. Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.